Um, so the character I play is called Ben Legend. Um, so he is the younger brother of Valentine Legend, who is which is played by Tom Turner, and he is the son of Sir Samson Legend, who is played by Nicholas Labrovos, who's dressing room we're in at the moment. Uh, and Ben is uh, a man of the sea who who comes ashore in Act Three of the play um, to to sort of see what life is like on land. He's been away for three years um, and he's set to inherit uh, a large sum from his father and his dad is using him as a way to block Valentine from getting his rightful inheritance. Um, but Ben is very much, I don't think he's necessarily interested in that, he's here to sort of have fun, um, uh, just taking the sights and sounds of, of everything around him, maybe, maybe seduce a lady or two, maybe not, who knows, um, and, and just to just yeah, to just to experience life and, and have as much fun as he can. I think the main thrust for Ben is that he he's landed ashore. He's supposed to be marrying marrying this character called Miss Prue. She decides that she doesn't want to marry him, and he goes and falls into a a, a, a romantic entanglement with Mrs. Frail, who is using him so that she can get the inheritance that is supposedly going to be bequeathed to him by his dad, Sir Samson, who is doing that to disinherit his son Valentine, who's desperately in love with Angelica. But everything comes right in the end. Um, the different well in in Queen Anne I play a character called uh, Samuel Masham, um, and they're, I think they're very they're very different. Um, it, it is quite interesting playing the two because it's, it's a nice contrast. Um, Samuel Masham is very he's very meek, he's very very mild, he's a very sweet, well behaved boy. Whereas Ben I think is that is he, he's a sweet, well mannered boy, but he's he's not as polite and, and well bred as, as Samuel Masham and he's kind of a bit more impulsive and a bit more cheeky and a bit more rude I think. Uh, from Love for Love I think they can inspect, expect a lot of fun, um, I, I hopefully they're going to find it funny, there's a lot of comedy, there's a lot of mischief, there's a lot of madness, it's pretty crazy and the play itself is very much making the audience the, the other character on stage, I think our director Selena was was very keen to make the audience inherently part of, of the experience and right from the get-go we include them in this process by having this, this pre-show where we're playing the sort of act of players arriving to sort of set up the play and in this we're, we're talking with the audience, we, we get one of them to be Queen Anne because Love for Love was Queen Anne's favourite play, there's like a kind of nice symbiosis between the two shows. Um, so I think they can involve to be, they can, I think they can expect to be very much part of the play which hopefully is fun, um, a little bit touching as well, and hopefully they'll hear the play and hear the beautiful language that Congre has written and have a really good night at the theatre. An audience member should come see Love for Love because they very rarely experience something that is a bit like being invited to a really nice party. It's actually a world of fun and make-believe. It's a completely crazy world where, in the end, the only people who win out are the good people. I really liked it. I thought it was lots of pace, lots of energy, lots of commitment. It was just great. It was so funny. Um, really enjoyed it. It was just smashing to, to see it. Several people have likened it to Blackadder 3, which makes me very happy, because there's quite a lot of heightened fun. There's music, there's dance, there's song. There's beautiful, beautiful costumes. Fantastically simple set. Stunning music, live band. It was so good, so entertaining, that we think we bring our four children now. <laughs> they think they'd love it. It was brilliant. I just loved it. Even though the language is a bit older, I still understood everything that was going on. It's fun. We do it as if we're just a, a group of players who've arrived in a theatre for the first time. I just loved every minute of it. And I hadn't, didn't know the play and I understood it and I didn't have to read the synopsis or anything. Like my husband said, you know, I, we could bring our ten-year-old and I think he'd understand most of it. So it's a, like a fairy tale, really. It's very jolly. We loved it. It was excellent. Did you enjoy it, Amy? Just enormous fun, quite brilliant, really entertaining evening, thoroughly enjoyed it. Go book right now because it's great, it's really funny and it's a fun night out, it's great. 10 out of 10. 10 out of 10.